Good morning friends. Today we could see the difference between pass, continue and break in Python. So continue and break are the conventional things which are found in the other programming languages also whereas pass is a unique feature available only in Python. And uh, here I will give you an example. With that we could explain the things. Here is an example where you could see the things where I have given for j in range of 10 if i j is equal to 5 continue print j so i have given it uh, ordinary loop of range range of 10 means it iterates from 0 through 9 so generally this uh, condition is not given it should print all the values so when this condition is given so what happens this is the question that we are here similarly in other case also i have used the break for that in the third case I used pass for that so we could see the, what are the things going on between these three here and uh, we could see here that so the first example illustrates that actually it should present all the values but for unfortunately you could see that after 4 the 5 was missing the reason is that so here we place the condition that here so in the for loop every time the for loop iterates it goes to this condition if this condition is not satisfied it goes to the next print and it is printing so and at uh, j equal to 5 so this condition is okay so it was true so it has gone to the continue and you could see the thing here so i so due to the encounter of continue so this 5 was skipped so I could generalize the thing like uh, when we place a continue in a condition that condition would be skipped uh, see after that continue the next print should be uh, executed but this complete loop was skipped but that's what the point here to mention and coming to the next case if you go for the example of to illustrate the break so here we have taken another example for p in range of 10 if p is equal to 5 is equal to 5 so we should go for break so else print this so and so value so in the first value uh, when the first value was given this condition is not satisfied it goes in and it would be printed next second value third value like that till 4 it was done so when the fifth value was encountered as yes, it was equal it has gone to this loop condition is satisfied so it goes to the break so the importance of break is that whatever the a number of loop which we are within so it completes it terminates us out of the uh, loop so we are out of the loop completely and uh, not executing any uh, of the other loops so it can't able to print other values so that's what we could see that here so th uh, and finally if you go for the last case example to illustrate pass so for i in range of 10 so if i equal to 5 so go for pass so else print i so what here you could see is that this pass has done nothing it has printed all the values from 0 through 9 without even skipping a single value so or nor uh, uh, coming out of the break uh, abnormally coming out of the loop you could see the 5 is there and all the other values are also there so what generally is done by pass so here you could see that pass has a typical scenario where it does nothing no logic to work no break nor skipping a loop pass is placed where there is no logic to be written in the particular condition let us say uh, you are a typical developer and you would like to pass on the code after in the next version or after some due course of time in mere future so but you would like to write the program the completely so these things can be added in our after course in such a cases this pass would be a best example to work with pass does nothing means nothing it just skip the things uh, it just go, th go through the things that's it so thank you so this was all the complete thing so in the next class we can go for the next point and we could go for other things thank you